Hey everyone, this is MikeBen96 with Wohotech.com. Today, I'm going to review the Week Calendar application for iPhone and iPod Touch. It is available for $1.99 from the Apple App Store and is meant to serve as an alternative application for the native calendar app that comes with Apple's devices. Now, the main difference between this app and the native app is that this calendar supports a week view, but there are also many other differences that you may like or may not like. So let's jump right in. We'll open up the application. So this is the main screen, and right off the bat, it looks very similar to the native calendar application. So down here, we have our eye, where we can jump from list view, day view, week view, month view, or we can go to a specific date. And here the Today button also resides. So for security purposes, I'm going to move over to January so you guys don't see my entire agenda for the rest of my life. Now we're going to take a look at the settings menu. So here you can change which calendars will appear and will not appear. So the cool thing about this application is that it pulls calendar events from calendars that are already set up on your device. So for example, if you add something in the native calendar app, it will automatically go to this app. Also, if you have a Google Calendar or a Microsoft Exchange Calendar via the Settings application, it will also appear in this calendar. So it pulls all of your calendar data from existing calendars set up on the device. So if we tap the Settings button, we are greeted with some more settings. So Calendars will give us some basic calendar stuff like time zone support, uh, international weekends. So another feature in this app is templates. You can set a template for any new events that you make. You can also change the defaults of a new event and make an entire template. So as you can see, here are the defaults that you can choose from. Then you could also make a new template. So here we have some miscellaneous options. One of these options that I want to show is full screen mode. So the full screen mode will hide the menu bars when you tap the window. The major problem is that if you tap anywhere, it toggles it. So if I'm jumping around from date to date, it, it keeps togging the full screen mode, which can get very annoying after a while. So overall, the full screen feature does not work real great, and it can be improved. For example, instead of hiding the month bar, at the top here, it could just like hide the menu bar down here and also maybe the status bar will also go away. So there's some improvements that could be done with that feature. Back at the settings menu, you can see there are many options for customization. The developer did a great job at making this app extremely customizable to fit the user the best possible way. So some of the settings you could change are what hours the day starts at to only show daytime hours instead of nighttime hours, which days are visible, when the week starts, how zooming works, font size, color schemes, and many other options. This app is extremely customizable, which is very different than the native calendar application, where you don't have any customization at all. So now that you have a sense of the customization options within the app, we're going to take a quick look at how the app actually works. So first we're going to take a look at all the views in the application. So first we have list view. And there's also a search bar up there. Day view, week view, and month view. Then you also have your go to date feature and your today button. Now, cool thing about uh, day view and week view is that you can zoom to kind of expand the time slots. We're going to take a look at uh, how you actually pull information from these events. So to learn more information about an event, you just tap on the event. So there you go. You got your exact times, the date. You could also view more information by clicking on the arrow. And here you can even edit the event, share the event, or even make the event its own template. Some other stuff that makes this app really efficient in carrying out certain tasks is that after you tap an event, you can use these two buttons down here. This button will copy the event and share the event. And then this button will delete the event. So another feature that I really like in this application is the ability to move around the applications by dragging them. So this app has jiggle mode. So if you aren't familiar with jiggle mode, it looks a little something like this. If you press and hold an application, it starts jiggling. And you can 
drag it around and change its location. So weak calendar has the same feature, kind of. You just tap and hold an event and it will start jiggling. Then you can drag it around to wherever you want. You can change the date or the time and then it gives you a little magnifying glass so you actually see what time you're exactly putting it at. You can also undo changes that you make in case you accidentally make a change. And you can also say that when you are done to get it out of jiggle mode. Another feature that makes this app a little more efficient is that if you tap and hold an empty time slot, you can easily add a new event. So it will automatically put in the date and time that your finger was on. The other way you can make events is by clicking on the plus sign. That will just bring up the old add event menu and that will also bring up your defaults and any templates that you have saved so you can easily start making events with those settings. So this is basically how the week calendar application works. And now it's time for my review. I think that this application is an excellent buy. I love the customization within the app and the week calendar view is great. It offers so much more functionality that the native calendar app doesn't offer. But it still gives you a simple user interface that doesn't make you feel lost. It's very similar to the native calendar application. Whereas other calendar apps, they make you feel lost by completely changing the UI. Compared to other calendar applications, I think that this app is one of the greatest, if not a first place app. I also like how it pulls calendar data from existing calendars that I set up in the settings app. This way I don't have to set up all my calendars again when I switch to this app. Also, if you can't use this app for whatever reason, or if you happen not to like it after using it for a period of time, all your events will show up on the native calendar because of the fact that it uses the calendar stored on the device rather than in its application data. So in conclusion, I highly recommend this app for anyone looking for an alternative calendar application that offers more customization and a week view, and is very simple to use. Now moving to a completely different note, you've probably heard of disasters in Japan between earthquakes, tsunamis, and a possible nuclear meltdown of one of the nuclear facilities. The American Red Cross is accepting donations that will be used to help people hurt by the disasters in Japan. I strongly urge you to donate something. Every donation, small or large, that they can receive is a huge help because eventually these donations add up to something huge that can cause a great impact in helping Japan's citizens. For the link to the American Red Cross donation page, go to wohotech.com Japan. On that page will be a link that will take you to the American Red Cross donation page. So I hope you guys like this review of the week calendar application. I'll see you in the next video.